Today we're comparing two methods for modifying JSON documents, JSON patch and JSON merge patch. Both are used for partial updates in APIs, but they differ in structure, use cases, and behavior. So let's break it down. First up, JSON patch. This method is operation-based and includes a list of actions like add, remove, or replace for specific fields. It's great for fine control, handling complex operations like moving or testing fields, and is perfect for precise updates in deeply nested objects or arrays, but it can get a bit complex for simple changes. On the other hand, JSON merge patch is simpler. You just submit a modified version of the document with only the fields you want to change, and fields you want removed are just set to null. It's intuitive, efficient, and great for basic updates, but it lacks the fine-grained control of JSON patch, especially for arrays and conditional updates. So when should you use them? Well, rule of thumb says use JSON patch when you need precise control, like updating individual array elements or performing conditional updates. Use JSON merge patch for simpler cases, like updating a few fields in a large document or when you just need quick changes. Both have their strengths depending on the complexity of the changes that you want to make. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for weekly videos on all things API.